1971 dawns mild and clear. A perfect day for football, as the Cotton Bowl Classic is sold out for the 10th straight year. And for the fifth time since 1960, the number one team in the nation is called on to flash its credentials in the Cotton Bowl Classic. For the second straight year, the label of number one belongs to Texas. All the trappings are here as the Longhorns begin their quest for victory number 31. And Notre Dame, winner of nine straight games in 1970 and averaging more than 500 yards a game in total offense. Almost 40 yards a game more than the high-geared Texas attack. This will be a day when more than 72,000 people jam into the Cotton Bowl as 20 million home television sets Turn on and tune in. Easily the largest audience of the bowl season. How many times have Texas opponents seen a game start like this? Phillips gets inside on the first play from scrimmage. And the foot race in 63 yards later with Ralph Stepaniak on the save. A good block by Terry Collins, number 33. A good pitch out and disaster. Happy Feller, the all-time NCAA kick scoring champion, boots a 23-yard field goal. And Texas takes a 3-0 lead less than four minutes into the game. Here come the Irish, blending a winning mixture of passing and running plays that will net three touchdowns in the next four series. Joe Theismann, ever the scrambler, picks up a first down. Now a play action pass. Theismann to Tom Gatewood, running a cross pattern, something Texas will see much more of very shortly. Power and determination. John Chiskowski on three blasts into the right side of the Irish line. This time inside the Texas end. And to the outside as the end moves inside. From the 26th, the threat becomes reality. It's Theismann to Gatewood on that same cross pattern. The elusive junior speedster suffers a pull hamstring. A small price to pay for a big touchdown. Scott Smith's gyrating soccer style kickoff has no handle. Another fumble. And Tom Eaton recovers at the Texas 13. John Chiskowski on the right side of the line. What a combination. Don't take the fakes. It's a Joe Theismann keeper all the way. And Notre Dame takes a 14-3 lead. Another view, same result. Theismann bellies Ed Gullius into the line. And then rolls out for the score. Back on offense and working on a zone defense, Theismann goes to Chiskowski in the flat. How do you stop an offense like this? Mike Craney runs another cross pattern. But this time, Rick Neighbors has the stopper with the timeliest of interceptions. Where is that football? That interception is only a reprieve, not salvation. Texas punts to midfield. Fake right and throw left. Theismann and Craney make up for that earlier backfire. As we move into the second quarter, from a setback field, that awesome power sweep. Ed Gullius doing the honors. Rick Neighbors on an unneighborly stop. 
from the wishbone, Theismann bellies Chuskowski, and it begins to look like mission impossible as the defense closes in. But improbable Joe walks the tightrope for the score. Now Notre Dame leads 21 to 3. And it's hats off to the Irish, who score three touchdowns in the first 16 minutes and 32 seconds. This time it's an up pattern by Comer. Good for 36 yards with number 38, Rick Toman, breathing down his neck. Crisis time, fourth down. And Phillips hits Danny Lester on a spin out at Notre Dame's 25. Another fourth down. Jim Bertelson bangs through to the 13. Phillips has a great view of Rick Toman on the blitz. But Eddie only has eyes for Comer. Complete at the three yard line. On the isolated camera, we'll see Comer set right. He runs in a cross pattern through heavy traffic. Now, is it a first down? Yes, it is. Phillips pitches back to Jim Bertelson. It's a short sprint to the touchdown. An upstairs view as the defense moves inside, leaving Bertelson his route to the goal line. The two-pointer. Phillips' arm is in better shape than his jersey. Annie Lester is in for the score. He's out again, and he's back in to stay. The trouble with scoring on the Irish is that they get the ball back. Here they come. Larry Parker mows them down on the power sweep. Soft quarterback Jim Bulger in the game. Like a bridge over troubled waters, his arching pass finds defensive ace Clarence Ellis. The speedy Ellis inserted on offense for this one play runs a fly pattern. And Notre Dame is deep in Texas territory. To beat the clock, Scott Hempel connects on a 36-yard field goal. And the halftime interlude sees Notre Dame sitting on a 24 to 11 advantage. The halftime music is gone, but still dancing with who brung them. The Longhorns open the second half with Eddie Phillips keeping to the right. And back to the left. Texas is in Irish territory. Later, it's Phillips to Wooster. To Chuck Zlock. And the Irish have picked up another fumble. There's bad news today, Longhorn. Ten times in this Cotton Bowl Classic, Texas will get the ball more than 80 yards away, this time digging out from the one-yard line. A lob to Bertelson right on the hangnail. Add on Jim's run, and this play nets 44 yards. An Irishman named Kelly, Tim Kelly, number 42, claws the ball from Wooster's grip. There's Mike Cruddy again. Put Joe Theismann on a football field and you've got instant offense. Like this 36 yarder to Jim Yoder, ending the third period. It's power off the eye formation, and Larry Parker rambles to the Texas 13 yard line.
but lightning won't strike twice. A hard hit by Bill Zabalak. David Arledge gets Texas back on offense. With the Irish leading 24 to 11, time is the big factor now as Texas goes to work 83 yards out. A fake into the line, and Jim Bertelson runs a swing route. Another throwback pass. This one to the right side, and Billy Dale hauls it in. Just over nine minutes left as Phillips is sandwiched between Patton, Crotty, and Stepaniak. The Texas quarterback is knocked unconscious on the play, and his big day in the Cotton Bowl is ended. In for Phillips, little Donnie Wigginton scrambles to the Notre Dame nine-yard line. Now it's Mike Kadish playing hero and gathering up the fumble. Theisman firing now. Jim Yoder runs a quick bend to the sidelines. And he went that away. Hey, down in front. Let's hustle upstairs and see how this one turns out. Here we are. The throw to Yoder. And we're off to the races. Coming down the home stretch, it's Jim Yoder by three lengths. Rick Neighbors moving up on the inside. It's a 60-yard dash with a photo finish. Neighbors by a nose. Joe looks for another touchdown. Everybody's covered. And David Arledge puts the clamps on another impossible dream. Bertelson sifts through the line. Runs in a cross pattern. Texas is moving. Wigginton to pass. He's pressured. And Mike Crotty dives for the interception to wrap up the big win for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And how does it feel to beat the number one team in the nation? To stop one of the longest victory streaks in football annals? Well, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame have their own way of expressing themselves after writing another memorable chapter in the history of the Cotton Bowl Classic. <laughs> <laughs>